in this module we will talk about the media formulation so while talking about the media formulation there are number of factors that affect on the formulation of the medium so before talk about in detail about the media formulation you can see in this slide what are the factors that have the significant role in the total product cost of the fermentation product you can see here if you look on these different items that raw material utilities labor and the supervision fixed charges maintenance operation and different supplies so these are different factors that directly or indirectly have their role in the cost of the product you can see the role of these different parameters are a factors in the cost of these different products as concern the beer alcohol acetic acid citric acid single cell protein and penicillin i reported by different uh, workers as concern the beer reported by paraton 1971 that there is the role of uh, raw material 38.4% as concern the alcohol the role of raw material is 76.7% in acetic acid reported by pape 1977 that is 42.2% in case of citric acid you can see it 39.7% so overall by this slide you can see the role of uh, the raw material and the substrate that vary from 38 to 77% depend upon the nature of the product ultimately we can say depend upon the process and the product so if we say that the role of the raw material is about 38 to 70% it means the major factor for determining the cost of the product is the raw material is the medium so we have to be very careful about the media and the selection of the medium and then in particular the media formulation because when we have a different choices so what will be our good choice so when we talk about the media formulation then we know we should know in detail what is the basic need of any organism so all the organism has to utilize the medium just on the base of their requirement so if we see on a metabolic requirement and uh, the whole process in a chemical terms you can see here this equation which we called as metabolic equation in which the carbon source nitrogen source along with the supply of oxygen and some other requirement which we called as the physical requirement then these three things carbon nitrogen oxygen and other requirement lead to the production of biomass and then some other by products and then the release of carbon dioxide and then the water is produced and then is a metabolic heat so it is the overall reaction so when we see that uh, this is uh, the aerobic reaction so in case when the organism grow aerobically then we can fit this equation so by if we use uh, the exact chemical composition and then in a closed system then we can see that uh, what is the conversion of this side to the this side so the ultimate so if we know the carbon concentration nitrogen and other requirement that is basically help to formulate any medium so when we express this equation in a very quantitative terms so that is important in the economical design of the medium and then there will be a minimal a uh, wastage of the medium so it is possible to calculate 
the minimum quantities of the nutrients that is needed to produce the biomass. You know, in our previous module, when we talk about the kinetic parameters in fed batch fermentation and uh, batch fermentation and continuous fermentation, at that state we, we try to calculate the Ks, substrate utilization constant. So, just by keeping in mind then the substrate utilization Ks value of any fermentation medium and then the use of those, then we can having a good formula of the medium. So, knowing that the certain amount of the biomass, that how much biomass we have to produce and that how much is their uh, elemental analysis that is basically a, uh, converted through the fermentation through the fermentation medium. So, actually knowing that the certain amount of biomass is necessary to produce a defined amount of product, it should be possible to calculate the substrate concentration necessary to produce. So, sometime if we if we produce a product and then we add a substrate in a very huge quantity, then there is a so much a residual substrate into that medium that can ultimately affect on the cost of the product. So, if we know the exact need of the process, we can utilize only the sufficient amount of uh, that uh, substrate. So, by knowing the elemental composition of the process organism, then it is a great solution that can be achieved by the element balance equation. So, in this table you can see that in red that what are their uh, needs and what are the trace elements that is required. So, what kind, what concentration of the phosphorus that is required and what is uh, the buffering capacity of that. Because sometimes there are some substrates, some are ingredient that is present in the medium, they are not directly need of the organism, that is only just for having buffering uh, facilities and sometimes they are used just to hinder the foam formations. So, in this uh, slide you can see that uh, if we talk about uh, the bacteria and then yeast and then fungi, filament fungi. So, what is the chemical or a elemental breakup? So, as concerned the bacteria, you can see that uh, uh, 50 to 53 percent is the carbon, but in yeast 45 to 50 percent is the carbon. As concerned the filamentous fungi, the 40 to 63 percent is a carbon. And you can see here the hydrogen 7, 7, but in case of fungi that is not reported. And these are different elemental composition that is reported by different workers as concerned the Laura 1960, Herbert 1976, Ibartal 1973, but as case in case of yeast, Ibartal 1973 and Herbert 1976, but in case of fungi, filament fungi that is reported by Lille 1965 and Ibartal 1973. You can see in this uh, table a detailed elemental composition that is present. So, by this you can see that iron in uh, bacteria that range from 0 0.02 to 0.2 percent. So, if we know the elemental composition, so we should assure the presence of these elements in the medium. If any one among these elements is not present in the medium, then we can hope that there will be no growth. So, these elements should be very essential part of that uh, medium. So, while selecting, while designing and while formulating the medium, we should keep in mind the elemental composition of these organisms. So, the some microorganisms in some case cannot synthesize some specific nutrients. So, we have to add directly not as a salts, but we have to add directly the nucleotide, vitamins, etc. So, we have to directly add those uh, organic compounds into that medium just to facilitate the growth of those microorganisms. 
so if we are not per, uh, adding those compounds which are not directly produced such as the vitamins uh, and the amino acids then due to the absence of those uh, amino acids or vitamins then we cannot have uh, the choice of those uh, level of growth of organism that can facilitate to the production of our desired product